Hi guys and welcome back. Um, this is actually an old video that I did a couple of weeks ago, or maybe a week ago, I can't remember anymore, time isn't real. Um, but it's um, not as recent as I would like because most of the time I'm at work and uh, drawing on my iPad so I can't really record everything that goes on there. Um, but yeah, I'm not able to sit down at home as much and just record on my computer, unfortunately. But I do hope to make more videos soon. Um, just so I can update my YouTube channel a little bit more often. But anyway, I um, kind of wanted to talk about some struggles I've been going through with art recently. Um, so we all know, or at least I know and some of y'all do, that I really enjoy line work. And I really enjoyed the line work in this one. Um, because it's kind of my favorite thing to do. Uh, I just like creating depth and, you know, shape and form and all that good stuff with lines. But I've been noticing lately that my faces, or human faces at least, are not turning out the way that I want them to, and that could be more based on my unfamiliarity with uh, the human anatomy of the face, and that's something I kind of need to brush up on more um, just to uh, kind of get it more accurate um, instead of just kind of winging it, winging it and hoping for the best, um, because that just never really works out in a way that is going to be working in every single piece I do, you know? Sometimes I can get lucky with just saying, oh, that'll work for now, and then go on to the next one, and it doesn't work. Um, so I need a more structured way of knowing how to draw a human face, and especially with Bram, I need to draw him um, more accurate to what he's supposed to look like in every single panel, um, because sometimes, I know I've mentioned this before and to several people, but you know, I'll draw him one day and then I'll draw him the next day and he looks completely different. And that's not what I want to happen. I want him to be recognizable no matter what comic page he's in or if it's the next chapter or 20 chapters from now. I want him to look the same, relatively. Um, but yeah, that's something I've been struggling with and I know I need to work on it more. So that's going to be one of my goals for the future. Um, hopefully very soon I'll be able to uh, actually draw him without having to look at references of how he actually looked a, an episode ago. Um, but Blight is a lot easier for me. I still need to look at her reference photos, um, as you can see in the corner, just to make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. Um, because her face is not symmetrical. Um, like on the uh, on her right side of her face is a little bit more, I guess, kind of... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it because it's not normal, but it's got a little bit more of a build up of muscle tissue. It sounds really gross, um, but it's a little bit more shapely than the other side of her face and, you know, one part of her upper where her lip would be kind of overlaps the other side, so on and so forth. But, um, and Scathe is basically the opposite of her face. His left side is a little bit more bumpy or whatever, but um, that's just personal preference and that's kind of what I've based them off of is obviously each other and he's kind of a reflection of her, yada yada. But they are a lot easier for me to draw than Bram or any other human character. And once again, I know I've mentioned this before, but it just keeps happening and I'm like, when am I going to get better at this? Probably never. Hopefully soon. We'll see. And maybe one day I'll stop complaining about it, but anyway, I do want to sketch more and do a lot more rough sketches and focus less on if this line looks perfectly even than, you know, hoping that it works out and seeing uh, the perfect lines and stuff because I focus too much on the lines and not too much on the emotion or on the structure and so on. Um, that's just something I need to do once again. Um, so I'm trying to do a lot more sketches at home and at work so that I have more understanding of how things work because it's something I've been putting off over and over again. And I just need to do it, you know? Just like the Nike logo slogan, just do it. But I'm just like, nah, I won't. Someone else do it. I'll do it another day, maybe. But anyway, um... On my life topic, I guess, today, I am uh, taking a special effects makeup class. I've been there for about almost 
three weeks or is it four weeks now? Um, but tomorrow, not tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, we are doing our life casts. So I will be going to school with no makeup on, yikes, and we're all, well, all the guys have to shave their beards, all the girls have to come in with no makeup, so that's fun. Um, it's a little even playing field at that point, but um, we're going to be doing life casts and I'm going to have my face covered in goo and I'm going to cover my partner's face in goo and then we're going to make our own monsters, so yay, I'm excited for that. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I will probably be updating a lot on there with my monster. But I'm a very excited person, so y'all can watch out for that. I was gonna try and do a Blight as my monster, but seeing as how she has no nose, that won't really work out because most humans I know have a nose, so you can't really take it away. But yeah, I'm kind of doing a different kind of monster where it's still decaying and corpse-like but it's got a little bit of a different quality to it but if you want to check it out on my Instagram you can do that and just follow me because I post more on there but yeah I'm excited I'll see y'all in my next video so bye